All right. From this point, we're ready to remove the screen assembly itself. Close this gently. Fold it over to the back side. Two screws here and screws in the back. So four screws hold the display in total. We'll take those out. over. If you need to release these little sides, you can do so just by gently lifting them with a screwdriver. Watch out for the board. And this entire unit lifts out as one piece. Set that aside and continue. Uh, from this part, we have to split the case. There are screws here and here, as well as the ones on the underside of the base. So we'll take these two upper ones out. screws here, 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 four in the center here. I think this keeps the board rigid out towards the edges. So we'll remove all those one at a time. I think I'll Tighten this little circuit board down so that I can flip it over and pour the screws out easier.
like that's all of them. Okay, it should let us split the case in half now. Gently start at the corners. One more screw. When you lift it up, don't pull too hard because there's still one wire connected on the underside. Actually two. These two ribbon cables. Here and here. Careful of those. And that gets us down to the motherboard. Okay. So we want to remove this board in, in our case. There's a ribbon that comes off here. And the screws that hold it should be the ones with the white triangles here, here, here. And then it should lift and slide out. So we'll do that now. The underside we have to remove this modem board or it won't fly out. The only other thing here is this ribbon, the lower right hand corner. Once we pull that ribbon, the whole board comes out free. Just take your time and wiggle a little. And that gives us the main board. This would be where you would put a brand new motherboard, or in this case, um, we're going to reflow the graphics processing chip, which is underneath here. So we'll we'll move it to uh, to that bench. <laughs> 